Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Welcome to another edition of Training Tip Tuesday with me, Coach Coral. Hope everybody's week is off to a fantastic start. It's a little bit rainy here today, but hopefully it'll clear up by the afternoon so we can all go hop in the ocean. But anyhow, I wanted to talk today about how everything is connected and the concept that it starts from the ground up. And oh, real quick, by the way, you seen these new big trucker hats that just came in last week? Get yourself one. <laughs> They're really awesome. They're tech trucker hats from Voco. Um, if you're local, let me know. I'll have some of this one tonight. Otherwise, we do ship internationally. But I just wanted to give a quick shout out and they're in the shop. I'm just so excited to be trading in this. Anyway, um, they're soft. Anyway, <laughs> so it starts from the ground up. So a lot of times we, as triathletes, as multi-sport endurance athletes, et cetera, we get caught up in the swim bike run. I know that we've been hammering this a lot lately. Our theme for May is mobility and strength. So I want to really dive down a bit, all the way down to our feet, and talk about why the feet are so important and how it affects our foot strength, rather affects everything all the way up to the top of our head, and why strong feet, flexible feet are so important for our success. So when a lot of times, um, with wearing shoes, walking in crappy shoes. I'm guilty of this. Living in Florida, we love to wear flip-flops. Um, but wearing the types of shoes that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, ones without good arch support, ones that aren't built very well, uh, sometimes flip-flops can cause us to scrunch our toes. Basically, all of these factors play into developing a weak arch in our foot so the arch starts to collapse and then also uh, the different tendons in the foot <laughs> like for instance if we wear flip-flops a lot these tendons across the top of the feet will get really tight from having to scrunch and basically hold on to that shoe so we can walk uh, and keep our shoe on our foot to protect the sole of our foot anyhow so when we do that when we have weak arches, when the feet are tense, we can develop some misalignment issues. And thinking about when we're running or when we're walking, especially with that lack of arch strength, the foot starts to collapse, the ankle rolls in, the knee rolls in, the hip becomes weak. So it really affects everything from the foot all the way up through the knee, or pardon me, through the ankle, the knee, the hip, it can affect and cause misalignments in the hips, the core, all the way up to the shoulders. So I strongly advocate instituting a mobility, foot mobility, and I'll show you a few exercises here, and I promise my feet are clean, uh, but instituting just a very basic foot mobility routine as well as a very basic foot strengthening routine. And this can help with not only your arch strength, but your ankle proprioception, your knee agility, your hip strength, and you'll just be a better balanced human and better balanced athlete overall. So one of the easiest things that you can do, and it's a little bit difficult for me to demonstrate this, but I'll give you the general concept. If you want an actual video of this, let me know. Hey, Chato, hope your Tuesday is going great. Um, but anyhow, one of the most basic uh, exercises that you can do to strengthen your arch is to get a towel. We'll pretend that this is a towel. And basically, you're going to take, say that this is your heel and these are your toes. You're going to take your foot and basically grab and scrunch the towel towards your ankle or towards your heel. And then you're going to press the towel back out, try to flatten it out. So you're activating here, but also developing some dexterity and individual movement within your toes. And then something else that you can do, I like to do this before I even get out of bed in the morning, it can help develop or rather prevent things like plantar fasciitis, just uh, get those joints moving in the feet. 
But basically, and this might be a stretch for some of you to begin with, um, so starting closer to the fingertips. So you're gonna stretch out the toes like this, and then very gently mobilize the toes, and then you can go further and mobilize the ankle, go both ways, and do that just for a minute or so before you wake up, or rather after you wake up before you get out of bed in the morning, just to get your feet woke, uh, woken up, warmed up, and mobilized. Um, and then also thinking about strong ankle, strong uh, arch and foot, walking around, and you do need to be careful with this, walking around barefoot. Uh, if you have a hard tile floor, perhaps go light on that, but uh, if you're wearing in uh, inside and you have some carpet going barefoot or if you're walking on the beach easing yourself into this but walking on those in unstable surfaces can really go a long way in help, helping to strengthen and reawaken those muscles in your feet that get turned off by wearing supportive shoes too much and sometimes this sometimes this can be a controversial topic um, but I think that there's a very happy medium to be struck between uh, engaging the feet muscles uh, and developing strength and stability and wearing it out uh, and causing things like plantar fasciitis. So we need to strike a happy balance, but there's room for both supportive shoes and uh, activating and going barefoot. So, and then something else to help you develop strength and stability through your feet and your ankles that will help you from the ground up uh, it's also doing single leg movements, like say you're doing a dynamic warm up or your workout includes things like walking lunges at a body without weight or um, like lightweight kettlebell swings, these sorts of movements that are more that are dynamic in nature and unilateral, um, but don't have a whole lot of extra load. And by extra load, I'm talking like uh, additional weight added. So you're not squatting 300 pounds essentially um, but doing these dynamic movements in an unstable environment so like on a carpet or on a yoga mat uh, and doing walking lunges or single leg squats these will help develop proprioception basically that's just your body's awareness that it uh, helps enable it to stabilize itself uh, and that directly directly translates to enhanced stability when you're doing things such as running so uh, hopefully that helps uh, raise some awareness about why the feet are so important. If you would like some help developing and incorporating some of this sort of work into your daily routine or your strength routine, let me know. Happy to help. And otherwise, we'll either see you at swim or we'll see you next time on Facebook. Have a great day.